up guys, Crisis Revolution here, and today I have an update video for 0.9.0, uh, I didn't put it in the thumbnail, I forgot about that, I just realized that as I said it, but um, yeah guys, so um, sorry I haven't been uploading recently, I haven't uploaded a video since Sunday, not exactly sure, but um, it's not one of the couple days, but I've been sick over this past weekend, so I was not able to get a ton of videos out, I was hoping to get at least two or three videos out this weekend, but you know, unfortunately I couldn't. But, um, anyway, uh, after being sick for, like, two days, three days, something like that, uh, I go on to Twitter, and, of course, there's a ton of new news. So, um, the, um, Pocket Edition devs haven't really been talking much about, like, new features and stuff, but they haven't, but Tomasto has been work, has been hard at work at Caves and, um, World Generation. So, um, here's the first tweet, where Tomasto tweets, and 512 blocks distance. Don't mind the holes, it's just the game eating itself. Also, 14 frames per second, maybe in five years. The five years thing, he's talking about like, um, like in the picture, as you can see, the render distance is much further. That's the 512 distance he was talking about. That's 512 blocks or 16 frames, or um, some 16 chunks, which is the same as PC. And um, the five years thing, it's probably gonna take about five years for phones to have the capability to handle this kind of um, distance. Like, as he said, he only got like 14 frames per second. So that's not very good, since 60 frames per second is the best. But also, he says, so it looks like the Nexus 5 can actually run MCPE with a render distance of 16 chunks. But the battery life is only 15 minutes. So, um, apparently, the Nexus 5, or most devices, it, this chunk thing ruins your battery life and um, takes up lots of frames. But also, this picture, uh, just another um, generation, just another world picture showing off the render distance. But guys, if you did notice in those last two photos, the world generation is the same as Pocket Edition. Like, you saw, like, those random desert biomes in the middle of, um, forests and random lakes and small islands everywhere and stuff like that. But, um, so they haven't really changed, like, changed it to PC. Also, it says 0.9.0 Alpha Build 1. Don't mind that, it's just, like, stuff. But, um, anyway, um, 123 Assassin asked Tomaso, have you started working on biomes yet? And he says, nope, when the basic system is sorted out, um, Jeb will take care of that, so, um, Jeb, he is going to, I guess, be doing the world generation for PC, which is basically adding all the new biomes that are in PC 1.7. If you do not know all the bi new biomes that were added in the PC Minecraft 1.7 update, you know, just go Google or something, but basically it's a, they have a ton of new biomes, and all they got to do is port it from, um, PC coding to, um, mobile coding, so that's basically it. But also, Johan tweets, he just removed the 8.0 beta group and will create a new 9.0 one. What he's talking about is, like, the 8.0 group on Google+, Plus, where all the people who have beta things for, um, um, Pocky Edition join and, like, they talk about problems and stuff. So he made 9.0 one. But, yeah, guys, so, um, yeah, so basically, they have been working on the render distance and... If you've been paying attention to like previous tweets by Damasto, he's been showing some more pictures of caves. Uh, I, I didn't really make a video on that because uh, it didn't really feel like a big enough information. But he's made like videos like that on caves, and he says like basically the terrain was only like flat worlds with no trees, no snow, no nothing. So um, this is very good news that the imp that those worlds, those pictures I was showing you were infinite worlds. So it's very good news that um, the whole world went in. Like the whole world generation's fixed. Now all they do is port it to from PC, PC generation to Pocket Edition. But um, yeah, guys. So um, basically, world generation is new stuff, just like that. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and possibly subscribe for more Pocket Edition news, updates, gameplay, and more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.